my name is JD Whiskers, and welcome back to another episode of Sally Face. And there's a new chapter, so let's begin. Okay. What's going on? Oh. Is this real? Am I dreaming? White room and... I can't understand that. Hmm. Others to play shit to... I don't understand <laughs> what is going on. The only one who believes you is dead now. What should I do? Run. Huh? Run. Run. Oh, shoot. Run. Uh-oh. Pull ever. Pull it. Oops. I don't even know how to pull it. Oh my god. Hello. Ah, oh my god, what the heck is that? Okay, I don't know what that is. Oh, I think I know what it does. Enter? There used to be a door here. Okay, that was weird. Is it true that you chosen to forgo legal help in favor of representing yourself? Yes. I've got nothing to hide. Can you speak to your conviction of being an innocent man? Are you sticking with the story you told the police? I will share the truth. Are you saying your original story wasn't true? I have no comment on that. Can you comment on this supposed person that illegally killed your mother? How can how do you explain no witness or evidence of any such person? Oh. I don't see the relevance of that now. Is it true that they are going to add the Sanderson murder to your charges? That would be news to me, but honestly. I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to pin that on me too. And what about Charlie Mansfield? I have nothing to, bleh, I have nothing to say about him right now, except that I did what I thought was right at the time. Okay, since we aren't getting any major details from you, let me ask you or our highest pullet question. Pulled question. Oh, the viewers are very interested in this one. Is it true that you are granted special meal privileges because you are afraid of baloney? I'm not afraid of lunch meat, okay? I just, well, it's a long story. Your trial is still a few hours away. I think we have plenty of time. Ugh. Alright. <laughs> Poor Sally. Episode 3, The Baloney Incident. What happened? Mr. Doodle? Hmm. <laughs> Sal Fisher. <gasps> I can move it. What if I were more than just a doodle? Oh my god. Can I jump? Hello. Are you okay? He looks like Pyramid Head. Hello. Are you okay? Okay. What's wrong with your friend? So sought the truth and the truth destroys itself. Now please leave us alone, you head will freaking frighten the children. Can you tell me where your friend ventured to find enlightenment? He traveled the rice prophet beyond the fields of death. Right, but a round head like you would never make it. Oh shoot, no 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 no. Let's keep going. No, Sh shoot. Damn it. Dang it. Okay, I didn't mean to. Go down. Why are you crying? Are you okay? What happened to your limbs? Well, I never... How you feel if I ask you the same 
What happened to your really shaped head? I didn't mean to offend you. I was just... Uh, go bother someone else. Hello, miss. Don't pay any mind to my sister. She's been crankly lately because of the sun. It's no problem. Our ancestors were mauled by the great beast. Ever since, our people are drawn without limbs. What sort of beast would do that? We do not speak of such things. If you want to know more, you need to seek out the oracle beyond the death fields. Okay. Oh, you're weird. Hello. Are you the great beast? Well, fuck you, friend. No, I'm sorry. Don't pay any mind. My temper rises the sun. The great beast hasn't seen, hasn't been seen for over a hundred years. Do you know where the prophet is? You mean the crazy old hag who lived beyond death? Just take the ladder down. It's always a ladder down. Okay. Eraser. Hello. Hello. You shouldn't have come here. Where am I? A dark place. Is this fear of death? Oh, where things have happened when the sun burns out. What do you mean? She's not going anywhere. Okay. Hmm. Poor people. Let's just keep on walking. Ooh. Oh. Are you the prophet? I am caught many names by the sticks. Do you know about the great beast? I crawled through the great hole many years ago. It ravaged the sticks for decades, then was laid to the rest by a magnificent explosion in the sky. Most believe the beast to the dead through. We know better than that. What is the great hole? Eons ago, we created a great hole in the paper fabric of this world a hole that contains all of the knowledge in the universe how am I how do I get there what is the truth worth to you everything whoa okay now what do, 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 do. hey there it is uh, uh. Oh god. Well. Excuse me, Mr. Fisher. Sal, wake up! Huh. That doesn't look like math to me. Oh, sorry. I must have dozed off. I already finished the test. I know, dear. You aced it as well. Very good. Just try to stay awake for the remainder of the class, okay? Sure, it won't happen again. Ah, Mr. Phelps, eyes on your own paper. <laughs> Class is almost over. Make sure everyone's hands is in their test before leaving. Okay. Sally's a little brainiac. Hey, freak. Nobody likes a goody two-shoe Sally face. Nobody likes a cliche bully Travis. Don't you have something better to do? Shut up, bitch. I wasn't talking to you. You know, if you took that sticks out of your house, you may actually enjoy yourself for once. Maybe even have a friend or two. Fuck off, faggot. I have more friends than you ever have. You kiss your daddy with that tongue. I'm sure he... Oh my god. Poor Sally. What hell, asshole. We alright, Sal? I'm fine. Come on. Let's report that jerk. No, don't worry about it. That'll just make things worse. Trust me. I dealt with bigger bullies than Travis before. Sal, you're bleeding. It's okay, really. Here. Let's use my bandana. Wait, hold on. I... you can't... I'm... I wanna see? There. Looks like it was just a small scratch. Don't worry, you can hardly see it. Ha! Thanks, Ash. <laughs> Dude, what happened? Was it Traff skin? That prick. I'll kill him. Larry, it's fine. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Sal's right. If we stir the pot, it will just make things worse. No, if he's dead, then he'll probably just haunt the school and we'll be stuck with that bonehead for the next two years. Ha, says the group's attack. You know, I love you guys, but the ghost stories are a bit much, even for me. So you're really just gonna leave this Travis thing go? It's just not worth it. Plus, think about it. Who knows about his home life is like? He's got a lot of pent of rage. There must be a reason. Pretty sure he's just angry that switch they switched the bologna sandwich day to tomorrow. Ha. <laughs> Seriously, never seen anyone love the crappiest lunch food so much. 
It's like a prison meal, and he wouldn't even like Pizza Fridays. Who doesn't like pizza? It's inhuman. Maybe he's an alien. Ha, huh, that's all we need. <laughs> Psst, Larry. I hope you kill Travis then. So is it looking. I heard that. <laughs> the next day. Baloney day. Oh, this is so cool. I'm excited for this chapter. And confused. Oh. Ew. Oh my god. Does that baloney smell funny to you guys? I thought last week was a little off-putting, but it seems to be worse this week. I heard it's made from goat meat. Didn't a bunch of kids call it sick the day after baloney day last week too? Oh guys. Hey guys. Don't ruin lunch for me, please. It's the only good part of the day. Group huddle. I'm in. Me too. Count me in. Have fun. I'm gonna stay here with Jug. We need to find out if there's anything wrong with this baloney. Maybe there's a bunch of bad beef. Or it's expired or something. Or bad goats. I'm telling you, dude. This shit is funky. Doesn't taste like no beef to me. This product's most likely a blend of low cost meat components from different sources of meat, pork, chicken, or, or turkey. Todd, man, you're making my stomach turn. This is like the hot dog incident all over again. Ugh, I hope not. Sal might be onto something. There could be an issue with the lunch meat. I'd like to take our sandwiches to the science lab and see if I could find any bacteria or signs of expiration. However, it would be helpful to know what the exact ingredients are. Okay, Ash, you go on with Todd to help him in the lab. Larry and I will try to get more information on the baloney. Sounds like a plan. Okay, let's find, no, we're not talking to Travis. Hi, Kim. Hi, Kim. We wanted to ask you about the baloney. Could you tell us where the school buys it from? Why do you want to know about baloney, eh? Something's wrong with Kim's cooking? No, no. We're just wondering where it, you kids go sit back to your chairs now. No more questions. Do you think we could see the package or no packages for you? Just butts in the chair. Go on. Okay. Well, that was a failure. She always seems so ha unhappy. I wonder why she... St she... Blah, blah. I wonder why she stays here. It's like the kids make her sick or something. Dude, what if Kim is poisoning the lunches? I don't know if this town has room for another conspiracy theory. Though, I guess it's worth looking into. Why don't you see if you can sneak into the principal's office to look at her files? While you do that, I'll check in with Todd. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Okay, let's make more jump. Hey, Sally Face, how's that detective work going? Not great so far, but we're still looking into it. You guys are wasting your time. I'm telling you, this is good baloney. Nothing wrong with it. Everything tastes good to you, buddy. Huh, <laughs> she has a good point there, Chug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If any events, I hope you're right. Okay, let's just talk to people. Let's talk to him. What you won't? Okay. Um. Let's go in the hall. Let's go in the boys' bathroom. Maybe we could find something. Star, star, star. Three. Nothing. Okay. Well, that was useless. Can we go in the girls' bathroom? I better not. <laughs> Lockers. It's lock. Hmm. I didn't have a paper clip. Cafeteria. One oh three. There's a class in there. The print Ooh. What? Okay. There's nothing in this room. Hmm. Wait, classroom. Oh wait, I just been there. Duh. <laughs> Let's go to hall two, two oh one, science lab. That's where he is at. Funny thing? Not yet. Were you able to go to the <laughs> get the baloney ingredients? No, not yet. Oops. Where's Ash? 
She went to the get some materials for me. I recommend she look in the Janet's closet. I thought she'd be back right here, actually. Okay. I'll help you. Oops. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Let's find her. Janitor's closet. Is it this one? No, that's a courtyard. Hey, there you are. Hey, what's wrong? The damn closet's locked. I need something in there to test the baloney. I tried to pick the lock like Larry showed me, but now my hairpin is stuck in the keyhole. It's jammed for good. Hm. Could you use some pliers to get some out? But yeah, they'll be in the closet or with the janitor, but he always leaves for our lunch. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. In the meantime, I'm going to keep trying it out. Okay, so maybe in the courtyard. Is that a... Okay, a weird ball. There's the hall. The window. Let's check that. The teachers are in there eating. Okay. <laughs> Birds? I can see them. They must be hiding. Hmm. I guess we go to the hall, maybe? Let us see. Oh, hello. Any luck? The teachers are in the lounge. I'm waiting for the right moment to sneak by. Courtyard. Hmm. Cafeteria. Okay. I don't know where else to go. Ugh, leave me peace. Hmm. I don't know what else to do. Uh, let's talk to them again. Hey, Sally. Not so good. Ah, uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm missing something. But what? What am I missing? Maybe I can find something in here. Okay, no. I don't know. Hmm. Let's go to two. <laughs> I can't find anything. Nope. Uh, shoot. I'm like missing. Oh, what's this? Oh, sticky tack. Sticky tack? Sticky tack. Maybe that would help. Hmm. Let's try that. It came out, and I was able to get the door unlocked too. I must have been able to get the pin open. Alright now, that I got what I need, time to head back to the old lab. Cool, I might meet you up there with Todd in a little bit. I have to figure out a way to get the ingredients first. Okay, so we got that. Maybe this one? Nope. Stop it, Sally. Let's just go see. Funny thing? Ah, man. I don't know how to get the ingredients. I don't know. Let's go in this one. There has to be something I'm missing in here. Oh, what the hell is that? Paperclip. Okay. Wait. There's a class in there. Wait, 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 wait. I think it's this one. There's nope, not that one. Was it shoot? Not that one. What was it? There was a door that I could pick. Let's find it. Okay. Hi. Not that one. I think it is this lock right here. Okay. Larry's backpack, we've been able blah blah blah. Hmm. What about this? Arts? Nothing. Larry's backpack, we've been... Hmm. There's one. Okay. house. Oh, I'm in Larry's. Let's go to potato. 
That's it. Lame. Okay, let's go to Ashes. Ash makes these stuffed dolls, and I don't think they're cool. They're like little dudes. I like it. It is cute. Wait. The camera. Gimme. Yes, take it. Should I snap pictures with it? That might come in handy. Yes, it will. It's cute. Okay. Nope. There we go. And let's see south. Textbook. Anything in there? Nope. Nope. Okay. I think that's it. Oops. Okay. Let's go in the cafeteria. Let's... Maybe talk to a lady again? Hey. But I wanna go in there. Rude. Let's talk to him. Any luck? The teachers are in the lounge. I'm waiting for the right moment. Hmm. I wonder if there's like a fire thing. Window. Oops, there's birds. Stop that. I wish there was a, like a fire hydrant thing and then for, pull the fire alarm. That would work. Whatever there is. Hey, I got it. I bet. I could throw that right here. Huh? What was that? I don't know. It sounded like it came from outside. I don't see anything. Neither do I. Maybe it was these damn birds. Let's start again. Hey. Okay. During the tin I really struck the teachers. Yeah. Oh, dang it. Maybe I can get the birds? No. It's <laughs> silly me. Let's use it. Oh, birdie, where are you? I can hear it. Where are you? Birdie, birdie. Where are you? I can hear it. It's getting louder. I found you. Press R. Yay! I got it. I got a birdie. Yay. That's stupid. <laughs> okay. Oh, kid hokey. Okay. Exit. Jesus. Maybe let's go in there. Did you pass it? Yeah. It's good to strike a new. I saw her file. Awesome. Anything to help us? Well, I had a book it, so I didn't get good. I didn't get a good look, really. If you can distract the teacher's game, maybe I can take the file. No. You want to draw attention to ourselves by stealing the file. Alright. You're the boss, Stelly. What should we do? Give me a moment. I think of something. Hey. Ask camera to take pictures of the files. Great thing to do. Really? Ready when you are. Okay. I think I go back in s outside and do it. Hi. Ha ha. Huh? What was that? I don't know. It sounded like it came from outside. I don't see anything. Neither do I. Maybe it's those same birds again. <laughs> oh, these are stupid people. Okay. Did you get it? Dude, the fire was missing. What? How can that be? No one else could have went in there without you seeing them. Ha, just joking. 
chain, man. I got the picture. Oh, you butt nozzle. Nozzle. Haha, <laughs> score. Let's take a look at it. Okay, employee. Amateur nature. Ah. So she likes that. Okay. That means I can give her a picture of the... Oops. Ah. Uh. Okay. I can give her this. Hey, Kim. I got something for you. What's this? A, pho a photograph? A of a birdie? You took that, eh? Yeah, I took it for you. Just a small thanks to all the hard work you do. You're a sweet boy, Sally. Thank you. So I was wondering, can you tell me where the school buys the baloney from? Why are you so interested in baloney for? Oh, well, uh, my friends and I really like it. I want to know where it can get some. It's local, made by Miss Mrs. Packerson. 100% beef. She brings from the farm once a week. Here, I'll give you some extra meats from Big for bringing Kim nice phot photograph. Thank you so much. Awesome. Okay. So we got that. I wish she could run faster because she is heck. She is so slow. Okay. They're up. Hey. She is in that one. Mr. Packers. Okay. Still don't know what that means. But we'll go all up. Okay, let's go to the science lab and talk to our little fellows. Got more baloney. Perfect. Kim said that it's made from Mrs. Packerton. Whoa, no way, dude. She lives in the apartments. How can she make her own lunch meats? Oh yeah, I forgot. She lives there. I hardly ever see her. I've probably seen her in the building twice since I moved in there. She tends to return at late hours. I believe she keeps multiple jobs. Teachers don't get paid as well as you may think. So it's fairly common. However, when Miss Packerson is home, she makes quite a lot of noise. It's very peculiar. So what do we do? Should we ask Packerson about this old odd side business of hers? Or are you boys going to do your whole detective thing? Ha, huh, I don't think so. What do you think, Sal? Let's do a little snooping around before Packerson. I don't like the way this is playing out. If something nefarious is going on, it would be best not to let Packerson know what we're looking into. Agreed. Good call, Sally. Alright, why don't you and Larry go back, go check out Ms. Packerson's classroom where the teachers are on break. Todd and I will finish testing the baloney. Exactly what I was thinking, okay? We'll be back. Larry, I need you... I need you to be my lookout. Wait by the door in case anyone comes here. You got it. Damn, she keeps the Do you remember how to break the lock I showed you? Yeah, there's no keyhole. A combo lock? Shit, dude. Why the hell are you going to get the thing open? Let me take a look at it. Oh, it's the math test. Shoot. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. There's a lot of... Three, four, five, six. Two, three, four. There's four combinations and six codes. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, shoot. I see a lot of four, two, five, six. Maybe that. Four, two, two, three, four. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five. How's that? No? Oh no. Ah! Oh no. Oh wait. One, two. Oh. Four, two, five, six. Four, two, five, six. Four, five, six. Oh no. Something's not right. Oh no. It's that math question. I know it is. 3141. One. How about that? 312. 
shoot. Okay, that's not it either. Wait, three, one, four. Ha! It's the pie sign. Got it open. Nice one, dude. What's inside? Just a bunch of math papers and, hold on, there's a hidden compartment. Man, there's something freaky in here. What is it? I'm not sure. What is that? Little drawer is filled with, looks like spices, maybe for cooking. A Bible? That's really old, but it's, is there anything special from it? A bunch of paper with random notes and symbols scribbled on them. Looks like they're written in a different language. I can't sense of any of it. Why does there's a, a skull there? It's kind of creepy. Crystals? They're actually kind of cool. I wonder what Peppersen used them for. A strange metal is similar to Jim's puzzle box. This could be important. Let's take it. There's another one of these metal boxes like the... Shit. Is it happening again? Yeah, I... Are you sure you just, you just be dehydrated? You didn't eat anything for lunch either. It's done, huh? It's all right. It's already over. But never mind. Let's go check in with Todd and Ashley. Hey guys, we found some sketchy thing in Peckerson's desk. How are the tests coming? We're not ready. Any signs of harmful chemicals or bacteria? However, I think we can agree there is something peculiar going on here. Whatever it is, let's not mention that there is a chug for now. The poor guy almost had a heart attack when they stopped serving meatloaf. Yeah, Ash, it's right. Let's keep this under the wraps until we know for sure what's going on. Well, I guess we know what we have to do now. Damn, I'm gonna miss this action again. I have to watch Ben until my parents get home. Maybe I can help you after that, though. Later that day. I need a few minutes to get in ready. That's cool. I have to take care of something anyway. Okay, let's meet up in Todd's room once everyone's ready. Yeah, perfect. Cool. Okay, guys. I'm gonna leave this episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed this Sally face. If you do, give this thing a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Buh bye bye